mom. <laughs> no. And so therefore I can't do it. <laughs> I'd rather stay home and continue helping my grandbabies. You're going to be a great teacher. How long have I wanted to be a teacher? Oh, a couple weeks, I think. <laughs> Well, every night at supper, I would say, you know, marry and become a teacher, marry an orphan. So maybe that's what pushed you in that direction. You don't remember anything. We spent our whole lives together. Nothing. Nothing. I'm trying so hard to think, and I can't. <laughs> Mom, what? Like, I, I just felt like Madeline's sister kind of thing. What? I love you. I <laughs> love you too. <laughs> ah, focus on me. I really enjoyed working as a hairdresser, mainly because I got to work with people. And I enjoyed seeing my regular clients and being involved in their life. My first calling was in nursing, um, taking care of people that were ill. As your dad and I um, started having children, it was very clear that it was just going to be easier to stay at home, and I have enjoyed staying home with you guys. I started helping pastor a local church and since the call into ministry. I think I've just wanted the you kids to do something that you like and enjoy. I've wanted you to do something to further educate yourself in some way. You've wanted to be a teacher for a long time. I do remember when you were little liking animals and thinking that you wanted to be a veterinarian. But then it seems like that didn't last very long and you've just talked about being a teacher for, for a long time. As long as I can remember, uh, I know that you firmed it up in high school. You helped a great deal with the younger ones when you were even smaller. I think sometimes that's what the first child does, but I could see you in some kind of caregiving role maybe early on. You have younger siblings, so then you kind of already had to be somewhat of a teacher. We had a good-sized chalkboard that was mounted in a play area with toys, and it was used quite a bit. I just remember writing stuff, mainly my name in all capital letters, because I couldn't know how to spell it. I think that you have been very interested in learning from little Buck. And so I've seen you just do your absolute best or try to do even better than you. I remember probably when you were in middle school that your um, music teacher helped you. She must have saw that you would be very good to help to, to teach other students and you must have loved it. <laughs> You have put a lot of effort into anything that you've tried to accomplish. In the high school stretch of uh, getting up at, I don't know, it was 5 o'clock in the morning to work on homework when you slept and felt fresh, even though you'd done some the night before. Very evident that you were going to tackle whatever you d decide to do. It was good at school. You helped people when they needed it, when their teachers wouldn't help them. I also have seen you tutor her through high school, the people that you were tutoring, they needed extra help just besides the math that you were working with. And so I watched you kindly explain and bring to their level so that they could flourish and did do well. I hope I probably had a question I asked you about it from school work. You basically taught me most of my Algebra 1 class and some of my geometry. I remember you teaching me how to add and subtract um, negative numbers and how to do binary or what binary is. Went on, went on to school. Not only have you done your schoolwork, but you've reached out to others that were, you know, in need and, and not necessarily material need, but, you know, needing to talk or, you know, needing uh, to share or having, a, 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 you know, sharing a space where they're comfortable. I see you actively caring for others. I've seen you be um, caring for your peers at college. And I've watched you do the same for your 
friends in high school and even younger for your siblings, for your dad and I, your grandparents. And then you express the desire to teach, wanting to make a difference. Do a good job in, in teaching math. I think that you, you've experienced uh, maybe teachers that have just done the minimum and I think that you're going to be one that's going to try some new things, go the extra mile, put in the time, maybe notice that you're getting in a, into a rut, do something different to try to keep it fresh. I think the students will see that. Uh, you have great leadership skills, you're cheerful, you're helpful sometimes. Patience, because you need a lot of that when you're working with people. Uh, well, I think you have some of those leadership skills, and I think you can work well with anybody that you have encountered and you will encounter. Do you have a <laughs> oh. Okay, you're done. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you.